Coconino County has declared a state of emergency. The tinder fire in the Happy Jack area has that started Friday is now covering more than 8,500 acres, which is about 14 square miles. It is still 0% contained. The cause of the fire is still under investigation and around 30 structures have been lost. NAZ Today's Sierra Shipley joins us in the newsroom to tell us about the evacuations. Sierra? There are currently 500 firefighters battling the blaze, and while people are being evacuated, some don't have anywhere to go. The American Red Cross has set up a shelter at the Twin Arrows Casino and Resort to help. The Red Cross shelter started in Winslow on Friday, but was quickly moved to Twin Arrows Casino on Sunday due to the tinder fire increasing in size. We had to relocate from Winslow to this area because of the problem with the smoke and the air quality. And also the track of the fire was heading toward the Winslow area. Only seven evacuees stayed here last night, but the Red Cross is ready and equipped to house well over 100. Right now we're, we're equipped and we, we bring along what is called a shelter trailer. We can do 100 clients. We actually have two shelter trailers here, uh, which means we can actually service 200 clients if need be. But it's not only the American Red Cross out here offering services. Coconino County Humane Association is also here to help families and their pets. A lot of people don't want to leave their animals for any reason. So that's why we try to set up wherever the Red Cross is so they're very close. Although there are no pets here yet, there are kennels set up outside. And the Humane Association will take turns 24 hours a day to assure that your pet isn't alone. We can do probably 30 dogs and cats right now. If more than that come in, we are extremely close to our shelter and where we have the resources to bring more equipment and house whatever comes our way. And for Figlerski, it's about being part of a family. Well, personally, it makes me feel wonderful, to be honest with you. I mean, it, the reward is, is that at the end of the day, when they give you a little hug and say thank you very much, I mean, their whole life has been affected. Uh, we now become part of their family, and they become part of our family. Governor Doug Ducey has freed up around $200,000 in emergency state funding, and as well, the Federal Emergency Management Agency has approved Arizona's requests for firefighting costs. Live in the newsroom, Sierra Shipley, NAZ Today.